the Wolverines take on the Florida Gators in uh, the, is this the, I think this is the Jumpman Invitational. That sounds right. Bunch of Jumpman teams, Michael Jordan yep. brand. Uh, also, recently, it's been a bunch of kind of bad basketball teams, at least whenever Michigan and Florida square off. Uh, I, for those that don't know, not a huge Todd Golden fan. Think he builds pretty talented rosters. Think he doesn't really know what he's doing with them when he gets them. With that said, I like this year's team more than I've liked other Florida teams under Todd Golden. I've been more impressed with what I've seen. Do you agree with me on your early impressions of the Florida Gators? Yeah, I, I I do. I it's one of those teams I don't know if I can shake, and it's not like just Riley Cool. I just like I like I like the guys on this Florida basketball team. Um, and I don't know why, but I just like kind of won't be able to shake it for some reason. Um, this game is gonna be a good one though in my eyes because I think that. At, well, actually, I'd like to ask you this. Do you feel like Namari Burnett has been struggling for a good amount of games in a row now? Uh, I I don't think I'd frame it that way. But Wouldn't frame it that way? Not really. Um, no, I mean, he has back-to-back 14-point games. Okay. I, I, sorry, I thought like he just wasn't shooting the ball all that well. But in, in any regard, I think he's going to be massive in this game. The matchup between him and Riley Kuhl, I'm, I'm assuming that's who's going to guard him. I think that that'll be massive in this game. I think Namari Burnett is up to the challenge uh, and has the has the defensive acumen to challenge him. Um, I do like the Wolverines in this game. though, And I know I think the line that I saw was Florida minus two. Um, and that might have changed from the last time I looked. But I, I think that Michigan finds a way to get this game and, you know, maybe with the stability that is now Juwan Howard at coach. Like, I mean, they win the last game. Juwan's the coach. They're thanking the medical staff that saved them. Like they're, everything might be okay. Now everything might be kind of sunny in, in, uh in the, in the world of the Wolverines. So maybe it's okay. Right. It's always sunny in Ann Arbor. That's what we're yeah. doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's definitely possible. Uh, it's definitely possible. It's definitely possible. Uh, so I quickly on <laughs> Namari Burnett. Quickly on Namari Burnett. We I just want to bet, and that's what Carter and I are doing right now for the record. We both had Seahawks. We're recording this in the middle of the Seahawks game. Uh, let's rock. Namari Burnett, fourteen points his last two games. Uh, both of them, but like that, not total. Just to be clear, I think he's been good the last two games. Is what I'm trying to say, and that's part of why Michigan. Okay good he was three for five from three against eastern he was two for eight from three against iowa but he got to the line like he's he's been good and more often than not when namari burnett is good michigan wins the games that he's good in so i do think he's a key i do think he's going to draw the riley kugel assignment i do think that's a little scary for michigan because i think riley kugel is good enough to eat namari burnett alive i think riley kugel is the type of player that will score like 35 points against a bad defense randomly and then he'll go have like four points the next game and you just don't know what's going on so i i think this is the most critical game that michigan's gonna have for a while and every game is critical when you lose as many games they did to start the season but they have kind of a stretch that opens up like they follow up this game with mcneese state and minnesota at home and then penn state on I think it's at the Palestra, maybe. It's a semi-away game is how... Yeah, it's at the Palestra. Like, you could win those three games. Like, that's... This is kind of a thing where, like, if you get an actual resume win against Florida, you could be sitting here two weeks from now where you're 6-0 and since the whole Jawan Howard-Sanderson thing. And all of a sudden, the narrative totally flips on this program. The notably, It totally flips on Juwan, these players. Everybody's been saying they want the players to just persevere, keep their head down, and show up. And I think they've done that to date. Um, who do you think, in your heart of hearts, like, throw this game aside. It is on a neutral floor, but throw the matchup specifically aside. Which one of these two teams do you think is the better basketball team? Michigan. Really, without question? Because Florida is, like, pretty similar caliber-wise to me. I think Michigan, if we play the one of our favorite games that we do a sleeper, is like I'm picking the best players on the floor. I think one of them comes from Florida and the rest are from Michigan. Go through that. Let's play that game. Because I, I think Kugel might be – that's tough between Conway, Doug, and Kugel. That's what I'm saying. I feel like 
whatever order you want to put it in, the best players in this game are Doug, Olivier, and then obviously Kugel, Kugel's, pro- Kugel's probably one. Then I'm going Olivier. Then I'm going Doug. And then I'm probably going like Namari. I don't yeah. know. I, how do you feel about like Zion pulling and Clayton and them? Not good. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Great. This 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 Florida team to me, and I might, you know, I might have to put my hands up and pull the I haven't watched as much Florida as I need to this year. I think I've seen three, three and a half Florida games so far this season. And I think it's Riley Kugel, and I don't really have faith on anybody else in that team, to be honest with you. So, to me, this is a game I think Michigan has a good chance to win against – win against a good team, but I think this is a game they should expect to win, and that they will win. Yeah, okay. It, it's a swing game larger than any I can remember in a while because if you lose this game, then all the demons come out and all the – uh, just the questions, the the rightful critiques and criticisms of this program and morale and all of that come back out. If they lose this game, then you're really sitting there feeling like Michigan doesn't even have a quality win. Their best win to this point is still St. John's, or I guess on the road at Iowa counts as a quality win. But like, if you're sitting here saying you got through Memphis, Texas Tech, Oregon, Indiana, and Florida, and you didn't beat any of them, that's brutal. You got to get one at some point along the way. And Florida's a gettable one. Um, they play really fast. That bodes well for me with Michigan. Like if you're, if you're an average team that plays fast, it kind of reminds me of St. John's when they just like wanted to run with Michigan. And then as the game went on, Michigan's talent won out. I'm hopeful that that's what can happen here. Florida is not elite defensively. They're fine. They're not elite offensively. They're fine. They don't shoot the ball particularly well. In fact, they're not even fine there. They're bad at the line. They're bad from three. All they're really good at is offensive rebounding. And they probably will beat up Michigan on the boards, if we're being honest about it. So uh, if good Terrace Reed can show up. I was going to say, I was gonna say but we got new Terrace in the, in the fold. If good Terrace Reed can show up, if good Will Cheddar can show up, then I think Michigan wins this game. If they don't, like if, if I could – set the line at what I need from my bigs in this game. If I can get 14 rebounds combined and 15 points between Cheddar and Reed, Michigan wins this game. Anything less than that, I think they lose. Yeah. I, and you brought this up too. Like Florida's playing four guards that that can all score. Obviously, Riley is the the main piece of that. But they play four guards that can all score. They try to space things out and they try to play fast pace. If that's what they want to do, like I'm taking, give me Doug McDaniel playing fast pace and Michigan, they're going to play fast pace. Yeah. I feel good about that. Honestly. Like, prediction who- time. Prediction time. Uh, sorry, but you you mentioned the name I want to ask you for the prediction on. Doug, for talking about a guy who has been bad last couple games, Doug's been bad last two games. Is Doug going to be good in this game? Invitational, neutral court Doug. Special. What do we think it is about that setting that we trust Doug? Something about a jump man invitational just screams like Doug McDaniel flirting with a triple double to me. Are you implying we might get a Chug McDaniel? I think we might get our first, like, there's something above a Chug McDaniel. Like, we get his best performance of the season. He's had some pretty great performances. You you think he's going to outdo the Oregon game here? Well, he's got to win, too. I think he's going to win. Okay. okay. Oregon game with a win. I don't know how I would handle myself. I can't be liable for <laughs> any, any of my actions within 12 hours after that. Uh, also, Card, just to be clear, it's been far too long since I've been on a Zoom call with you chugging beer. Uh, we just did that last night. Far too long, as far as <laughs> I'm concerned. Uh, okay, who wins the game quickly? What's your prediction? Uh, let me get Michigan by five. Not going to give you a real score, but Michigan by five. Why not give me a real score? Okay, I'll give you a real score. Twist my arm. <laughs> you don't want to pull rank on that? No, I didn't want to pull rank on that. I'm pulling rank extremely overrated. It was great that one time. I'm already <laughs> not using it again. Um, I think I'm going to go Michigan, Michigan 80, Florida 75. Okay. 
Can I Herb Street this? Can I say I'm calling the game so I don't get to make a pick? Sure. Calling the game, I don't get to make a pick. Wow. Okay. Riley Kugel will have 30 points in this game, though. Okay, well, if you're going to say that, I need to know if you win or at least win or lose. Riley Kugel and Doug McDaniel will both have 30 points in this game. If that happens, Michigan's winning. Riley Kugel and Doug McDaniel will both have 30 points in this game, and the player that loses will be on the other team's roster next season. Ooh. Ooh. Keep an eye on that handshake line, not for altercation reasons. Keep an eye on, like, if Florida gets a win against Michigan, keep an eye on how long that Jawan Howard Riley Kugel handshake is. I'm locking, I'm going to be very locked in on that. Okay. All right. Todd Golden loves his transfer point cards. I'm just saying. Doug would look great in the Sunshine State. Facts. I can see it now. Sand beneath our feet. For our, our feet. My, well, my feet are where his feet are. I, I forgot. Know. I forgot you go where Doug I goes. Go, I go where he goes. I forgot uh, that. <laughs> which t- tomorrow night is in uh, North Carolina. We'll see you for the recap, everybody. Goodbye.